also, I'm just gonna go dry my hair one second. I just dried my hair. It is Valentine's Day, so I thought I'd film a get ready with meme. I'm feeling really sad today, I'm not gonna lie. So I thought, let's make this sad bitch into a bad bitch. <laughs> How cringy. I'm gonna do my makeup and chat with you guys about Valentine's Day. Let's start. I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow so I can get the fallout before I do my foundation. But yeah, my skin isn't great. I think my period's meant to be coming soon. You know the ones if you have a period. So I'm feeling pretty sad today. I've told you before, I have started antidepressants. I'm on antidepressants because I have some mental illnesses. I got a bit too much at the end of last year, so I started antidepressants to help that out. And it has, for the most part, been helping. But sometimes I will feel really, really, really hyper and like absolutely off my tits, like buzzing. I don't even know if that's happiness, but I'll just feel like really positive and I'll have loads of energy and I'll be like, yes, I can take on anything. I can do this. I can get through life. And then some days I'm just like, oh, I have no energy. I think I wasted it all yesterday. I really can't be asked with life. You know the ones. <laughs> so that's how I'm feeling today. So I thought, what better way to cheer myself up than making myself look pretty? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some pink eyeshadow. Yes. Oh, I was using my classic La Rock palette from Amazon. <laughs> the really cheap one that I literally am obsessed with because it has all the colors. I've literally had it since I was like 17. So I probably shouldn't be using it still, but I still do. I just act like makeup doesn't go out of date <laughs> and that's just not the case. I wanted to talk about Valentine's Day. So last year, Valentine's Day was a like, really big deal for me because it was my first Valentine's Day not in a relationship. I'd literally been Oh my god, my camera bugged out. It has all the sound. So you've no basically video. just missed me doing my foundation, contour, blush, highlight, eyebrows. It's just so annoying. I'm just gonna have to edit around it. But at least you get to see me do some of the eye makeup, I guess. So yeah, I've got Glisten Cosmetics. I found their page on Instagram and I was totally obsessed. They're like wet eyeliners. But they're so good. They stay on. They're so pigmented. It's great. And so I've been doing funky looks with them and I'm just so excited. So I'm gonna do one for you today. I'm actually a bit nervous. I feel like it's gonna be quite advanced for me, but we shall try in a relationship since I was 15. So it just felt like a big deal to me. <laughs> I don't know why, it really shouldn't be. And then I kind of had this realization because I've literally always loved Valentine's Day since I was like a child. It was the most exciting, important thing. I've always loved and still do the idea of celebrating the day of love. To me, it's the celebration of love, any kind of love, whether that be love with a romantic partner, love with your friends, love with your family. I just see it as a day of celebrating love because I know there's a lot of people that are really salty about it. Like, oh, it's just making all the single people feel bad about themselves. Like it's such a mean holiday. It's just how you take it. You don't have to have it in that way. And I know it's like, proper consumerist holiday. It was literally made to make money and sell stuff. But like, you don't have to actually spend any money on Valentine's Day. Like, all I like from a partner on Valentine's Day is like, I'll make a card for them usually. And I don't know, maybe flowers would be nice, but I just like flowers anyway. But like, I'm not like, oh, get me flowers, I won't be mad. I, I don't expect loads from a partner on Valentine's Day. I just want it to be like quality time, a lovely day spent together. And then last year when I was single for the first time, I was like, oh damn it, it's my first single Valentine's Day. I don't have anyone to love me. <laughs> not that deep but I realized I can celebrate loving myself and that made me so happy I was like yes I'm gonna get myself flowers and I'm gonna treat myself and make myself look pretty for me and it was like it was nice it was a good feeling so obviously it can be the celebration of loving yourself which I'm working on doing which is what the antidepressants are helping me do and what like therapy is helping me do I'm not great at loving myself I'm very self-critical self-hating it's not great but I'm working on it and that's all that matters I feel like I can't really complain about being depressed and hating myself if I'm not doing anything to try and fight that that, that's just like how I feel about myself. Obviously, it's very hard to do. But anyways, I have always found Valentine's Day very exciting. I have given someone a Valentine's Day card every year since I was four. <laughs> just because I'm a hopeless romantic, you know? And oh my God, I just thought of something. I remember in primary school, I can't remember how old I was. I had a crush who I was thought I was absolutely in love with. He was actually just like my best friend. I gave him a Valentine's Day card and I was really hoping that he would give me one, but obviously he did not. And he was actually chasing this girl all day instead of me. And I got so upset that I pretended I lost my voice, which is so ridiculous. I can't believe I did that. I just pretended I lost my voice because I didn't want to speak to anyone because I was so upset. <laughs> I was like, come on, Maddie, relax yourself. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not that dramatic anymore. <laughs> no, I probably am. I'm probably more dramatic, to be honest. Whenever I had a crush on someone and I wanted to give them a Valentine's Day card, my parents, bless them, <laughs> would drive me there so I could post it through their letterbox <laughs> and just try not to get caught by them or their parents. And it was just like, I usually didn't. It was so silly. Hello, it's editing Maddie real quick this video is a bit of a shambles i'm very sorry it's kind of like a podcast now but i'm hoping you 
still enjoying it. I just thought of a really cute story though to fit into this video and it's basically that when I was in primary school again and obviously I gave a Valentine's card to someone every year and I never received any at all but it never stopped me from wanting to give them out because i just loved spreading the love and one year i actually got one and i was so excited and the handwriting looked like it could be from someone in school so i took it into school and i showed my friends and we investigated we got people to write so we could see their handwriting we were trying to figure it out and i really was hoping it was the person that i liked at the time who i gave my valentine's day card to and it actually turned out to be my granddad <laughs> which is so freaking cute at the time i was really upset and hurt but really looking back it was such a a sweet gesture i honestly appreciate it so much anyway on to the final look oh okay so now we are done this is the finished look <laughs> it's so cute i literally love it <laughs> i'm so happy with this this has made me feel better i'm really glad oh sorry ignore all this mess my bread broke that's why i'm sat on the floor look at this mess as well this is what it looks like when i do my makeup i'll put on an outfit to make myself feel like a boss ass bad bitch and then that's it thank you for joining me by the way this has really helped calm me down <laughs> please comment down below some funny valentine's day stories that you have if you feel like it so here is the final look i'm wearing my cheeky <laughs> red and summer's bodysuit as a top and then this skirt which is really flattering as a slip i'm wearing my gold honey necklace and i've got cherry earrings on Ta -da! I'm actually so happy with how this turned out. I feel so pretty, I feel better. Thank you for talking to me, guys. I hope you have a lovely day celebrating love, but I know that probably a lot of people are feeling alone right now because of the pandemic and lockdown, and I'm just sending you love. Please reach out to someone if you need help. I am always available to talk to. I say this all the time, and I really mean it. Like, if you need someone and you feel like you have nobody, I am here, and I understand a lot about loneliness and depression and anxiety, and I am here to talk to you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for getting ready with me. Many love. Bye, guys. Mwah. <laughs>